Hello, Mona. Hello. Mind if I sit down? Oh, please, be my guest. I wanted to get your opinion on something. Yes, you can use makeover. About your friend, Allison. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you know she's protecting Dylan, Ava, and Caitlin. Why do you think she's doing that? Those three looked like they needed help. She's very nurturing. But why those three? No idea. Really? You don't see a pattern? Of? Isn't this what happened in Rosewood when she was in high school? The way she formed a tight group of people around her? People who were dependent on her? That's not a pattern, that's ancient history. I think it says a great deal about the kind of person she is. That she needs people to be committed to her, indebted to her. Nolan Hotchkiss had this little group of his, ready-made posse. Now he's gone, and Allison seems to have grafted them onto herself. Allie's a very complex person. It's part of her charm. Part of yours, too. <laughs> I noticed in your file you never told the university what happened on Rue de Siffleur. Am I saying that right? My French isn't very good. No, no. it's not. And no, I didn't tell them. It's not relevant. So tell me, do you worry that Alex and Mary Drake may try to find you? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, but isn't that what got you in trouble with the FBI in the first place? Making connections that aren't there, letting an obsession with the Diwali case cloud your judgment, leading you to take shortcuts. Illegal ones. That's what got you fired, isn't it? It's a funny thing about research, it goes both ways. Excuse me. The chest piece. Good luck, Charm. Everybody needs a white knight sometime. But today, mine didn't show. <laughs>